ever feel that when you get in the water and anytime you end up kicking, you stay in place or even worse, you end up going backwards? Well, there's an important reason why that's happening and if you don't address it now, you're gonna be headed down a road of frustration, but it's all right, I'm here to help. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Coach Mandy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you some real important exercises to start doing now that will help improve your freestyle kick. So ankle flexibility is so important in the water. I have to repeat that, it's really important because most people that have a hard time with a kick are typically avid runners or cyclists that have really tight ankles, and it's important to actually start to stretch those out because what you feel in the water is when you relax your ankles. And the only way you can relax your ankles is by stretching them. So keep watching as I will show you my top three stretches to help improve and maximize your kick. So the first thing I want to mention is posture and making sure that you understand keeping your core engaged, your ears in line with your shoulders, your hips in line as well. It's easy to push your head forward, especially with texting and having a desk job. So you, you really wanna make sure your head position is in line with your shoulders and there's no arch in your lower back. So the first exercise is a kneeling hip flexor stretch. And of course you wanna make sure your hips are in line with your shoulders and you're going to slightly push your hips forward until you feel a stretch, in this case, on my left hip flexor. And also that forward knee needs to be at a 90 degree angle. And here I'm just adding a quick stretch just to stretch out my back to feel that connection when I'm in the water. So typically guys have tight hip flexors, so this is a very important stretch for you to do as swimming is all about extending. Here is just an added stretch that you can do. It's just to slowly sit on the tops of your feet and bring your hips back or go into a child's pose is an easier one to do. And this will help really stretch the front part of your foot and also in front of your shin, which is really where your tibialis interior is located and it tends to get very tight. In this next stretch is ankle circles and I'm actually standing, but you can do this in a chair or you can have your hand placed on a wall just in case your balance isn't that quite there yet. And all I'm doing is I'm slowly moving my foot around in circles, both clockwise and counterclockwise. I would advise about 30 seconds for each foot and also each direction. Another added benefit to doing these in a standing position is you start to really balance off of the opposite foot, which helps with stability too. And lastly, I wanna to note to just really take your time with each repetition. And I would advise 30 seconds because it just gives you enough time to really warm up your ankles and increase your range of motion, which is what you really want for a kick. So this is the flex and point stretch. You are standing as well, or you can do this seated or with your hand on a wall. And what you're doing is slowly dorsiflexing your foot, which is kind of like a flat foot, and then slowly pointing your feet as far as you can go. And you do this for 30 seconds for each foot. I have also added a free posture assessment as well as a bonus exercise set list located in the description. Okay, I hope you found those stretches useful. And if you haven't incorporated them into your training already, you've got some homework to do. So remember, the more consistent you are with adding these to your training, the easier your kick and your practices are going to be. And I know this is a very common problem for most that are learning how to swim. So if you have friends or those that are currently training, feel free to give this uh, video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And of course, if you're new to this channel and you wanna find out more, don't forget to subscribe in the corner there. Wait, I don't know if it's the corner. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys have a question, 
feel free to drop a comment. Remember, this is an open platform. I'm here to help you and I will answer them as soon as I can. All right, you guys, I'm signing off and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Click the link in the description to watch more awesome videos.